So I'm pulling all of my hair out of my face to start with and then I'm going to prime using Bare Minerals Prime Time in the neutralizing shade as always just to act as a base for my foundation. And I'm actually mixing two foundations today. I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I just decided to mix these two together to just get the desired consistency that I wanted and I just blended that in with a beauty blender. Then I'm taking the Model Co Contour Stick and I'm just outlining the perimeters of my face. So underneath my cheekbones, around my hairline and forehead and on my temples. And this is just to add a little bit of structure and color to my face. And I'm just blending that out again with my Beauty Blender. You don't really need to do much blending. The Beauty Blender literally does all the work for you, which is why I love it so much. Moving on to the eyes, I'm just priming using a MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which you guys know is my Holy Grail eye primer. It makes my eyeshadows last all day long. And then I'm going to set that down with the Wet n Wild Contour Powder, just in the highlight shade, just so that I had a nice smooth base for all the bright eyeshadows. And I'm using the Take Me To Brazil Palette by BH Cosmetics today. I'm first taking this yellowy shade and I'm just buffing this into the crease. These shadows are super pigmented for such an affordable palette. Like I was literally so surprised, so I would highly recommend it. Then going in with this neon orange shade, it is literally neon guys, like I can't describe it any other way. I'm just doing the same thing but buffing it a little bit lower than that yellow shade so I had like a gradient effect. Um, so just buffing that away and then I did add a bit more colour and just built the intensity up. Then I'm taking the bright deep red shade and I'm just starting to pack this onto the lid and I'm using a brush that can actually blend eyeshadows as well as pack them. It's from Real Techniques, it'll be listed down below. So I'm just blending as I go kind of thing. And this just makes it a lot easier in the end if you just blend as you go rather than applying all of the shadow and then having to go back and blend everything. It just makes it a bit easier. Then I'm going back in with the first blending brush I used, which is a Sigma E40, and just blending those shades together. Then taking this hot pink fuchsia shade, I'm just taking my finger and packing this onto the lid, mainly focusing it in like on the first half of the eyelid, but I'm sort of just bringing it all together and making sure everything's super blended. And then again, just going in with a blending brush with any bright look, I feel like you really wanna keep blending and blending. Then I just wanted to add a little bit more of that neon orange shade just to intensify the look. So again, just taking that and intensifying the crease and then going back in with a little bit more of the red shade and doing the same thing. Going in with a black liner from Rimmel, this is just their scandalized black coal. I'm just doing a messy line along my lash line and then taking a smudge brush from Models Prefer and just really smudging that line out so that it sort of has something for my lash band to sit on without having a wing or anything like that. And I also tight lined with that one as well. And then I'm just adding a little bit more of the red shade on because I felt like it wasn't quite intense enough. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes and applying some mascara. This is the Rimmel 24 hour curler, I think it's called, something like that. So just applying a thin coat of that and then going in with Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. Back onto the face, I'm concealing my under eyes using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And I'm just taking some down the center of my face as well to act as a highlight, just to make sure my face looks more three dimensional than just one dimensional kind of thing. So, and then I'm just blending all of that out with my Beauty Blender once again. I use this a million times in this tutorial, which is why I love it so, so, so much. Then I'm going to do some baking. So I'm just taking the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder. I'm just applying a hefty kind of amount underneath my eyes um, and just down the center of my face. And I'm gonna let that sit for about five minutes. Then I'm going to do a little bit of contouring just to sort of set the cream contour in place. I'm using the Paloma shade from the NARS um, Stephen Klein palette and I'm just applying that to all the normal areas. And I am also taking a blush from the palette. This one is called Luster and I'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it backwards. 
And then I'm just dusting away the excess powder. And then to highlight my face, I'm using the ColourPop Highlight in Wisp. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender again because this is a sort of a cream to powder formula. So I'm just applying it to the high points of my face just to give me a nice glowing complexion. And then I am going to set it with Gerard Cosmetics Star Powder in Grace just because I love this so much. So just applying that over top. Then for the under eyes, I'm taking the yellow shade we used first and I'm just buffing this right underneath the lower lash line. Pretty much going to mimic what I did on the upper lid. And then I'm taking the neon orange again and just doing the same thing, just buffing this really well underneath the lower lash line. Then again, going in with the red on the same brush and buffing it against the lower lash line. I've repeated that so many times. Then I'm taking the pink on my finger and just doing the same thing, just building up that colour and making it all blend together like a sunrise. And then I'm just blending it out to make sure everything looks nice and seamless. Then I'm taking the mixture of these two bright yellow shades and I'm using this as my inner corner colour. I just feel like this pulls the whole look together and just makes the eyes kind of pop and it just looks so good on green eyes. I'm obsessed with it. Then I just took a bit of the black shade on a little angled brush and just um, smooshed this against my lower lash line, I guess, to make it look a bit thicker and then applied some mascara. For the lips, I went with something nude, obviously, because the eyes have a lot going on. So I'm taking Rimmel Natural Lip Liner and just outlining my lips. And then I'm going to fill them in with ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Magic Wand, which is such a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. And after that, the look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!